as you can see I do have smoke coming out of this PCV valve it's coming out of two specific areas the front and the back or the front and back or back and front so. Yep. Yeah, that unit's cracked. Yeah, it's cracked. Yep. All right, this is a VW. No, I'm sorry for that. Audi. Yes. An Audi. There it is right there. <clears throat> this is the PCV valve I removed upon. Doing various tests, especially smoke tests with my uh, Stinger smoke machine. All I did was just remove the uh... rats. I just forgot the name of the sensor. Anyways, I just removed the sensor that's right here, right up top the throttle body. Injected my smoke machine in there and blew smoke through it. And I had to also cover a couple areas. I had to cover the throttle body here and the turbo. And after doing that, uh, I only had smoke come out of the PCV valve. The second, the twice. Obviously, I just wanted to confirm I'm sort of overly stingy troubleshooting. I don't want to waste any of my client's money unnecessarily. Just throwing parts at it. Just being a plain mechanic. Just throwing parts at it. Um, I want to be an actual technician. I want to troubleshoot. I want to do the job right. And here's what I found. So upon seeing smoke come out of here... I always like digging deep and finding a lot more thoroughly what actually caused this whole problem. And the way I removed this, you're going to see how the way the cap is. You can see this is, a, this is probably the OEM one from the factory. All I did was just put a screwdriver right here through the front, pry it off. And no, I did not put any of the silicone on. This was already there before I started. The previous mechanic just tried to cover up the problem, hoping this would fix it, but really, really just sucking the air out of this peephole because this was broken so as you can see here I'm gonna put it against the flashlight and you can see there's a ripple right there right there you can see it it's ripped and there's another ripple right here and it's just really small stuff going on here you got another ripple here another ripple here but the main ripple is right there so yeah, I already got the PCV valve coming in by tomorrow, but I just want to show you guys, give you guys a heads up. This is what a PCV valve looked like internally disassembled. Uh, how it's assembled back, you just make sure everything is centered and pop it back on. But really, really just buy the whole thing because I saw something else going on with this also. There's, um, I, mean, I want to make sure that when I flip this over, I don't lose any more parts. Um... So there's another thing right here. I'm gonna try to turn on the torch. See that little pin there? There's a pin all the way in the back that's just way too loose. I mean, I flip it over and it just flips back. Wish you guys could see that, but I don't, oh, there it is. So right in there, dead center, there's a little pin. I'm gonna flip it over. You guys should see it fall down. Let's see if it focuses. There we go. So you can see that the pin is down. I'm gonna flip it. Yeah, the phone's gonna move, but there it goes. It flipped back. I don't know if that's broken or not. Probably is. I mean, this is a real old PCV valve, but yeah, in general, this is what I found. I'm just gonna peel off this old silicon. And yes, this plug got broken by the previous mechanic, also. Um, yeah, a couple things happened to it, but. Yeah, the guy just wants to fix it and sell it up front and just get out of the car. But yeah, the code associated with it is the one in the, in the uh, thumbnail. So also was making my car misfire in four cylinders. Also, that might be separate. It might not. I don't know, and we'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that at least that briefing of how the PCB valves look inside and how this is actually ripped. <clears throat>